Today we're going to be reviewing Tiny Rebel White Russian. Now this is really exciting, it's a beer and a cocktail. It's kind of a mashup of the two. Uh, it's 5.2% uh, yeah. and it's a coffee cream ale. Now this sounds really exciting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to try this. I'm blown away, mate. Um... You're sceptical, aren't you? But I'm really looking forward to it. Well, it's not, funny enough, it's a lot of white Russian yeah, during the war. Right, here we go. It's to celebrate cool. their ninth birthday. Oh, they did these was, mash up beers, yeah. This was the old birthday pack. Oh, as you can see, it just looks like. It looks like a normal. Tiny level drink? Yeah, just looks like a beer. Put their carbonation. Nice colour. So it doesn't look like a cocktail, does it? Now this is the mad thing with these um, cocktail beers that they've done, that they really do just look like a beer. But, oh wow, yeah, that smells mad. You can totally smell, but it's not. Oh, ah, that is lovely. That is so nice. <laughs> I can't believe that. It actually tastes like the cocktail. Oh, it's creamy. It's got a taste of coffee and chocolate, and if you close your eyes and didn't look at it and see that it actually looks like a beer, you can imagine you were drinking a cocktail. Yeah. That is fabulous, I love it. Oh, just <laughs> made up. Okay, definitely smell You can coffee. smell it, it's, it's so, so, it's mad. See, 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 it's good, isn't it? <laughs> It's yeah, okay. no, it's good. He likes it. <laughs> okay. Taste the coffee. Because that's what's lingering in my mouth. The, the aftertaste of real, lovely kind of rich coffee taste. Yeah, you get the coffee taste as it's going in. Then yeah. you get some... Some kind of chocolatey. It's like a smooth, creamy, chocolatey taste. This drink is just wow. I'm so impressed with this. <laughs> well done, Tiny Rebel. It's, um... Yeah, it's... Mm. The standard just it's okay. Oh, what companies make a mashup of a beer and a cocktail all together in one? No one. No one else has done that. Yeah, I could put a beer and a cocktail together. It tastes better than that. No, it wouldn't. No, they, 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 they've done it. They've done that relative, relatively well for them. As I say, it's just you don't. You do definitely get a coffee. Yeah. But I don't want a coffee beer. I'd have a coffee stout if I oh, wanted a coffee beer. You say. You're missing the whole point of it. It's a beer, but when you drink it, it tastes like a cocktail. It tastes like coffee. Yeah. Not really a cocktail. Coffee. Oh, it definitely tastes like a cocktail to me. There's a lot of um, real <laughs> coffee, and not only in the aroma, in the actual before taste, the after taste, and it does, it leaves a coffee it taste. It does leave coffee taste in your mouth. I'd go as far as to say, it's like drinking a fizzy coffee, <laughs> with a bit of alcohol round in for good measure. Oh. That's my take <laughs> on it. That's as honest as I can be. It's, 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 it's pleasant. It's, it's really nice. It's drinkable, but it's certainly not. <laughs> You're actually cross that you actually like this, aren't you? <laughs> That's what it is. He's cross that he likes it. It's, it's not, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to change the world. Mm. I think it does. I think it. Yeah, it changed the Tiny Rebel. Wow, it's changed the world. Change the drinking sensation for us. Yeah, no, I think it's brilliant. I thought Robbie Williams was a sensation. <laughs> on Tiny Rebels, dodgy old coffee cocktails are really not. Like Russians like, used to have tea and marina, didn't they? Oh, well, the, tea and the original vodka and something. cocktail, I think it was rum and tea and marina. Was it rum? Were they the... I can't remember either. I mean, it, I can't remember the thing to it. It doesn't even say too much about. What, the ingredients? It's just like this powder, that powder, this powder. A bit of, bit of a couple of sweeteners, you know, a bit of coffee, pain, you know, away you go. <laughs> I, can't, I can't actually pronounce half of what it says on the back of the head. It's, <laughs> so it's really artificial, okay. Yeah, very Good artificial. You, you know, anyway, you like it? I like it. I don't. It's a yes from me. It's a no, no, way Pedro for me. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. <laughs> 
if I'm a fair man and I could say I'd have to drink, if I had to drink it, I would. I've had a lot worse from Tiny Rebel lately, so I'll be fair and give him a generous 3.5 out of 10. <gasps> 3.5? No, it's only because you're in. Back in here, okay? My goodness. But yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, thanks for viewing. Um, the thanks at this point, I don't know when you'll see this video because we're getting confused with the uploads. It is Sunday session in the Keg Exchange. Um, we've reached 200 subscribers. Thank you for that. Um, like, subscribe, and comment. I answered yeah, every talk to us. comment that we've missed because for some reason it doesn't all show up on the phone. I've got it on the computer now. It's us now. Took a bit of time getting old, you see. <laughs> right, bonjour and danke schön.